Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out for a pre-race ride uh, as I'm racing again tonight over in Lancashire at the Stephen Burke circuit in Nelson. Uh, a track that I've never raced at before. Uh, it's a category 3 4 this week, so as I said in the last video, hopefully that means it's a little bit easier, but nothing's ever guaranteed. So this morning it's going to do about an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Um, just kind of open up the legs a little bit, make sure the bike's in the working order. Uh, this week it sounds like it is, so that's a good thing. Um, might do a couple of sprints and stuff just to open up the legs, get them moving. Uh, but really just uh, tick it along a little bit. Oh, I really just not try and vlog going uphill. Makes things very hard and we're talking very staccato. All right. I'm gonna put the camera away, start spinning, and yeah, get this pre-race ride done. So I'm just about to set off and head over to a Nelson. Um, I, apparently, according to Google, it should take me about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, so I should be arriving around about six o'clock and that gives me about an hour to uh, prepare myself before the race starts at 10 past seven. So yeah, plenty of time to uh, get um, get sorted, get my numbers pinned on. Just about to head out on my warm up. Um, probably gonna do a couple of efforts, uh, just maybe two or three different sprints, uh, just kind of get my legs moving, open things up again. Um, but yeah, never raced on this course before, so um, it's something that's I think is very important and um, something I've learned recently on the coaching course that I'm doing is that really you should try and find out as much as you can uh, about an event before you do them uh, before you do it make sure that you can get your your goals right for that event um, and then hopefully then you can have a good performance um, so yeah I've not done this course before so I sent a message to Rob who has done this race in the past a couple of times just asking him for a couple of tips uh, which he's, uh, he sent me through so um, unlike the Boddington circuit I did last week, this one's a little bit more flat um, with a few more technical corners. Um, whereas so the start finish straight is kind of the whole of the back side of the track. When then um, uh, on the opposite side, there's a few different uh, kind of technical corners, which apparently is quite hard to move up in. So he said um, probably best kind of thing to do is kind of stay up near the front as, for as long as possible um, and probably go for a long, a long attack at the end. So maybe one or two laps out rather than waiting for the sprint because uh, yeah, you need to be in the front kind of few places in that on that last lap. Um, so yeah, and he said, yeah, it's very hard to move up in the corners. So um, probably the best option is to kind of, if it starts to slow down towards the end of the uh, the start finish straight, is to, as people are trying to prepare for that corner, um, maybe that's a time to kind of like not to not to ease off as much as everyone else does. And just kind of take a few few places where you as you take that momentum into the corner. I'm a little bit more uh, relaxed than I was last week. Um, I think that's partly to do with the fact that I'm uh, here by myself, uh, so there's no pressure. Um, no one knows me over here, um, so if I don't come away with a result, it's not the end of the day. Um, not that it was 
even last week it was just there uh, yeah and people lots of people I knew who were racing and spectating last week so uh, it kind of felt like a little bit of pressure um, even though there's, there's no pressure with this at all as I said um, gonna go in there start my warm-up um, and uh, yeah I'll probably speak to you after the race has finished um, and yeah I'll speak to you then back in the car after the race uh, didn't quite go to plan so my first mistake was that I started quite far back um, and uh, it's quite a techie course as I talked about before um, and after a few laps I was trying to move up uh, I was moving up like two or three places at a time um, and um, yeah just as I was like halfway up the, up the group um, there was a split with 15 people going away and uh, yeah I was kind of stuck behind that as I said before it's a very techie course um, and the corners um, you only can go like one or two wide through them and so if you weren't up near the front and someone took a corner badly um, yeah you had to kind of sprint around them uh, through the next corner and after doing that a few times it, yeah, it gets quite difficult um, and the gap opened up probably about four or five people in front of me um, I tried my hardest to chase back on uh, saw there was a lot of people on my wheel so I thought I'd sit up a little bit and share the workload but they just kind of weren't strong enough um, so I ended up doing about 90% of the uh, the work in the chase trying to mo motivate people to kind of work with me to get back in um, we were probably about five seconds off at one point uh, maybe even closer um, someone came through who really couldn't pull hard enough um, and yeah the gap opened back up again and by the time I'd moved back to the front to try and rectify the situation and pull it back closer it was far too late um and i think yeah i was uh i think my highest um 20 minute heart rate um of the year just trying to pull that break back but never mind um learned a lot about the course uh learned firstly obviously you need to be up there in the front um especially right near the beginning uh and yeah it's a it's a it's very tough like there's one corner where you it makes you you lose a lot of speed going around it and you want to kind of pedal through it but the the canvas is not quite right so um i did some, have someone in front of me who clipped the pedal um and yeah it's quite easy for someone to kind of like crash out on there so yeah you kind of have you lose you feel like you're losing a lot of speed but actually by not pedaling you're actually gaining a bit of speed a like, bit of momentum through that corner it's quite a narrow track and um Yes, it meant like a bunch couldn't go through the corners. I definitely prefer like the Boddington circuit, um, which is nice and wide, um, and you can go three or four into the corners, um, no problem. Uh, and then yeah, you've got loads of space on the straights to kind of move up. Here it's it's quite difficult. So I've got another race on Saturday, which is down in Derbyshire. That is on a motorcycle circuit. So that is uh I think it's an hour long race and that is lovely nice and wide I think there'll be the bunch of about 40 to 50 guys maybe even more um and yeah that one that I really enjoy that one because you kind of can just sit in a bunch in that race uh, and um yeah move up towards the end there's lots of space to move up thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video